Are you serious? Are you serious? Now we're talking the bubonic plague? What? Something apocalyptic is going on with all of these signs. Wars in Israel. War in Russia and Europe and Ukraine. War raging from ISIS. Airplanes falling out of the sky. Magma rising in Yellowstone National Park. Fish washing up by the thousands in California. Oh, are you serious? And now we got an entire city. An entire city of 30,000 people have been quarantined by the communist uh, regime of China because the bubonic plague has broken out. And of course, it's hard to get information from China. China's saying only one person's dead. But folks, you don't quarantine. 30,000 people. You don't quarantine an entire city over one dead rat and one dead man from the bubonic plague. But we are talking the bubonic plague. And I'm glad they got it sealed. But I got a feeling it's more than one death, more than one person sick. Well, I want to thank Roy Cooper. I want to thank Rosemary of North Carolina. I want to thank a bunch of people. United uh, Nation, uh, Terry Sowers. Uh, Stormy Gordon. I want to thank Marshall Buchanan. I want to thank Jancy Mora. I want to thank Nick of New York. I, I want to thank Joey. I want to thank Punk Shu. I want to thank Sharon Baker. I want to thank a lot of people who've done a lot of great research today. And without them, folks, you couldn't stay on top of the things like we're able to do because we got folks all over the world that are keeping track of the signs of the end times. Well, here we go. A city in China has reportedly been sealed off after one resident died from the bubonic plague. But this way of trying to contain the disease is very puzzling to the infectious disease experts who say the response seems extreme given the information. So there must be more information that has been released by the Communist People's Republic of China. According to news reports, China officials have blocked off parts of, of Yumin, a city in northwest China, preventing 30,000 people, the city's uh, population, from leaving. A man in the city did become ill after he handled a dead rat. He got sick with the bubonic plague and died. Now, another 150 people came in contact with him that they know of. So, they've all been placed under quarantine, and then the whole city is under quarantine. Now, i got a bad feeling. If one rat's got the bubonic plague, more rats have the bubonic plague. If one man has the bubonic plague, more people have it. And so, we're not getting the whole story. Russia's trying to, I mean, excuse me, China's trying to keep it contained. They're trying to keep the media contained from the fear of a bubonic plague spreading throughout Asia. Remember, folks, this plague, the bubonic plague, killed about a third of the world several centuries ago. What's going on? Jesus said in the last days, there will be false Christ and false prophets shall rise and they shall deceive many. But see that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. For the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation. Kingdom against kingdom. Now you're seeing nation against nation when you see Russia and Ukraine already going on there over the Crimea and over the land. Then kingdom against kingdom, you're seeing that right now when you see ISIS rising up and slaughtering in a genocide of Christians, running a half a million Christians out of Mosul. These are spiritual kingdoms taking over kingdoms. You see the same thing when radical jihadist Hamas firing rockets at innocent civilians in cities across Israel. Again, kingdom against kingdom. So Jesus said there would be wars, and there would be rumors of wars, and there are nations. Uh, it says there would be war, rumors of wars. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, kingdom. There would be famines, droughts. Look at Texas. Look at California. Look at parts of Africa. Look at uh, Madagascar. Are you serious? Locust plagues and droughts. 
and the water levels are way down, and the Euphrates is drying up, and the River Nile is drying up. Are you serious? So he said there would be wars and rumors of wars, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, famines, pestilence, diseases, the bubonic plague, SARS, mirrors, some kind of weird mosquito virus that's got 350,000 people sick with high fevers and joint pain in the Caribbean. What? Don't miss today's live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern. You go to my website, watch it live, be in the chat room live, don't miss it. Three hours, we're going to cover the plane crash in Taiwan, the plane crash of the Malaysian plane shot down in Ukraine, the war raging in Israel, all the airlines are shut down, nobody's flying into Israel uh, from U.S. airways or from U.S. airline companies or European companies. You can still get there if you travel El Al. That's only fly, that's the only airline I use when I go to Israel is El, El Al, which means Almighty God, because it's the only airline in the world that's never had a plane crash. Is El Al? I wonder why. Anyway, we got a lot going on. We got ISIS is killing Christians. There's a lot to do. Please don't miss today's live broadcast. And then tonight, do not miss tonight. I will be right here live, two hour special YouTube exclusive. You don't want to miss it. We did it last Wednesday night. Last Wednesday night's broadcast was Paul Begley uh, live. Signs since the first blood moon. It was a powerful two-hour broadcast. 38 people give their life to Jesus. We covered the entire subject. Tonight, it's Paul Begley live. Type it right now in your search bar here on YouTube. Paul Begley live. Signs of the new world order. You do not want to miss this. You, I got all kinds of excerpts and a lot of information. We will break it down for you. The beast is rising. We're in the last days. Somebody's got to tell you what's happening. 